Hey guys, what's going on? This is Daniel, your forklift evangelist. Uh, today I'm actually, I'm outside and uh, it's nice to be able to be out. I just wanted to share with you briefly about something that I thought about yesterday. See, yesterday morning I woke up and uh, I walked outside and it was in the 20s. Uh, I had on my my heavy coat, had on my my warm clothes, and I made sure I had my gloves, and I had a hat that would cover my ears. And I'm at work, and, and everything is so cold. But then, by the time lunch rolls around, the sun is shining bright. Uh, it, was, it turned out to be a beautiful day. And you know what? I got to take off that coat, and uh, and uh, I felt fine. And it was it was great. I started thinking about that, and I thought, you know, that's a lot like our life. Our life is a lot like that. My heart is a lot like that. Sometimes my heart is cold. Something happens and I and I hold a grudge. Somebody wrongs me and I become angry with them or bitter with them. Something goes wrong in my life. Some tragedy happens and I and I immediately my heart is cold. But then you start to think about the sun. And by the sun, I mean Jesus Christ. You see, he went through a lot so that my life could be better. He died so that I could live, so that you could live. And Jesus is is changing us. And he's taking that cold, bitter feeling and that anger and that rage and that lust or whatever it is that we have in our lives. He's taking it and he's changing it for his purpose for his glory and the sun begins to shine in our lives and it's amazing what happens you see God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for us so that we can have life so that we could have some sun some light in our life it's hard walking around a room in cold and bitterness nobody wants to be around a person whose heart is just so cold and callous but you know what? We allow our, our lives to get like that. Our prayer lives get like that. We talk about the need to pray. We talk about the need to uh, to fellowship with God and with other people. But yet, our prayers sometimes become cold for rote memorization. Sometimes our worship becomes cold. We stand, stand there and we sing the songs. And it's like... Our words are saying, I stand, I stand in awe of you, but our heart is saying, I sit, I sit on padded pew. You see, we've got to allow Jesus Christ, his word, his love, his magnificence to totally come inside and to change us and to make us his. Because it's only then that we can experience the true warmth of the sun. Hey, this is Daniel, your forklift evangelist. That's your thought for today. Peace.